what's going on guys so today we're gonna be turning this wasteland that i have behind me into a paradise i say today but in reality this is probably gonna take at least a month or two today the only thing we're gonna be doing is cleaning up we have some tortoise poop i have some branches which is from hibiscus leaves that i feed these big boys right here they are big boys but they're still babies actually this guy's about to be nine years old and that one's about to be eight years old now this summer but the reason i have no grass here is because of the bunnies i had them all free roaming the yard and they would destroy the grass and they got to a point where they were actually trying to like dig under this aviary as you can see there there's a bit of a hole they were never able to get out i made a little fence and i filled it up with rocks so that they couldn't dig out but they would dig in little holes like this all over the yard and although it sucks that i have no grass now especially that the aldabras would enjoy that a lot the good thing about this at least is now that there's no grass i'm able to see all the big rocks and i've already collected a ton of them and these smaller ones especially these not as much but these smaller ones and I want to pick them all up so that these guys don't eat it. And they like to eat pretty much anything they could put their mouths on. You guys may be wondering, wow, this guy's yard is a mess. How long has it been since he cleaned it? I clean my yard pretty much once a week, depending on how bad it gets throughout the week. Usually once a week is enough. Last time I cleaned it was last Monday. Today is Monday. And this is what it looks like now after one week. And I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done cleaning as well. So you guys can see how much these guys dirty the yard pretty much. Now, obviously, it looks a lot worse than it really is because there is no grass. But give it one month. By the end of this video, this enclosure is going to look completely different because those bad boys right there are no longer going to be in here. As cool as it was to have all the bunnies free roaming, it's obviously not the best thing. But at least the experience was not a total loss. Like I said, now I'm going to be able to clean the yard way better than it's ever been. I'm able to take out all the rocks that were hiding under the grass and under the roots before that I couldn't get to. Speaking of which, here is the last bunny that I have free roaming. This is Oreo. And the reason why I still have him here is because he is my favorite and I wanted to keep him at my house instead. And I think that it's not going to be a problem with the grass. As you can see, it's already starting to grow. That's all bunny food, by the way, that got wet overnight. I'm going to clean that up as well. But as you can see, the grass is already starting to grow. So I don't think that he is enough of a problem by himself to kill all the grass. I just had like six bunnies in here at one point. Today's makeover, the first thing we have to do is rake up all the mess that we have all over the floor. The other thing, I'm probably not going to do it today, is I want to get rid of this thing already. You guys may know as well if you follow my Instagram, I've been making new galvanized steel cages, so everything's a lot better quality, and it's not going to rot in a couple of years like this one did. Look, look at the hole it has on the bottom. And this used to be a hide. As you can see, the entire support fell off, so I'm using a cinder block. So yeah, wood does not last a super long amount of time here in Florida. I mean, it's very humid, and it's been outside for two years now with animals living in it pooping on it and sleeping under it so you know it did its part it did a great job but it's not gonna keep doing a great job anymore it's starting to turn into a hazard for the aldabras going in there and they're already starting to get too big to even fit in there so by the end of this week this is going out and the animals that are in here are going to be going into this two enclosures the animals that are in these enclosures are going to be getting a nice big upgrade as well but anyways let's get started and there we go everything's nice and organized the floor is as raked up as it gets i'm gonna clean this up and then maybe i could do another pass i think i got most of the things already in this pile and that little pile over there so you can see the aldabras are enjoying some missouri oreos over here doing i don't know what he just keeps looking around for something he's keeping me company I, at least next thing i want to do is rip out this plant right here because as you can see it's dead and that's because the bunnies would chew the bark off of the bottom he's a much clearer example as you can see this is where they stopped reaching they couldn't reach anymore so they weren't able to ch keep chewing pretty big difference they took out a good amount of this this is the hibiscus tree so let's just go ahead and get this guy right out of here just toss him in there and it looks like we have more more that are dead back there but that one's kind of entwined with the one that's alive so i'll just break it right here just take out the pieces there we go two trash cans full of well trash that i pulled out of the enclosure area the outside area where i keep all the animals three days later Now 
Behind this door, we have the new and improved backyard for all of our reptiles, especially our Aldabra tortoises. Before we check it out, let's see what it looked like before. Here is the before of the backyard. See, it's a bit of a mess. We're gonna go ahead and fix it up. And now let's see what it looks like after. And I know I didn't show any of these cages in this video. That's because I already made videos on them. So if you guys want to see how I built this cage, make sure you check out the Cayman Lizard video. And if you want to see how I built this one, check out the Rhino Iguana video. Today, we're mainly focusing on the tortoises enclosures and the grass and just making this area look nicer. There's a quick little peek at the Cayman Lizard resting behind the hibiscus plant. There are the Rhino Iguanas getting a little bit of sun. And here's the cherry head enclosure. I added some grass as well as more mulch back there. And over here, we have kind of like a mixed group i have my greek tortoises here box turtles as well as a central american wood turtle and a redfoot tortoise now for this part i have some big plants as well for now this is just the tortoises hide and here is where i keep my adult group of sugar gliders but this path is one of the best things i did here because now we do not have muddy feet whenever we go back inside the house this enclosure is also one that i do not want to keep here much longer i'm going to build one that's higher and goes all the way up with more units to house more animals and of course the best part these guys finally have some grass of course since i put this grass in here these guys have been super happy munching on it all day and as you can see even though it's already been probably close to a month since i put in the grass it's not that long because these guys keep it nice and trimmed there on the on the edge is where you could truly see how long it would be if i didn't have a bunch of animals munching on it all the time if you guys want to further support the channel make sure you check out shadowsreptiles.com i appreciate all the visits that i get on there whether you guys are just reading a blog or you're purchasing something from our shop if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications and have a great day